We are one of 14 national manufacturing institutes around the United States with really only one purpose, and that is to help the competitiveness of U.S. manufacturers. Supply chain security is everything. It's from the digital connections between you and your suppliers, your statement of work individuals that come in. It's the physical security posture you have from where the product is thought about and delivered. When you then figure out what information is necessary to be protected, what do you have to do? And so there's policies and procedures. There are IT configuration elements. There is hardware, software to put in place. Then there is the development of a system security plan or an SSP. And then of course, the OAM plan of action and milestones. It's more than just a hacker trying to see if he can get into something. It's people going in with a very specific purpose in mind. We're all still trying to figure out cybersecurity. You have IoT bills, you have stuff coming from the House, from the Senate, you have state law that's being passed, you have, the, the, for example, data privacy. When it comes to software supply chain, it's where can you get the most information? How can you aggregate information and get trusted information about what you're upgrading behind those IP addresses? For every technological advancement that we talk about, that we fund, we need to understand the workforce implication of it. Do jobs go away? Do jobs transform? Do new ones come online? And over what period of time? This is not a procurement problem. This is a company strategy problem. I'm going to start off very briefly talking about the NIST uh, cybersecurity framework. There are various standards, as you know, depending on the industry, but most of them are walking around these five areas. Do basic IT security basic physical security, basic security education and training, you're halfway there, if not 100% there.